The MC-21 is regarded as one of the most secure airliners in its category as a result of its numerous innovative safety features and design innovations. The use of an active side stick controller, which offers pilots tactile feedback, is one of its most distinctive features. The MC-21's active side stick physically resists risky control inputs and alerts the crew as the aircraft approaches unsafe conditions, in contrast to the passive side sticks in the Airbus A320 or the traditional yoke in the Boeing 737 MAX. An active side stick provides the pilot with a sensation of resistance and automatically moves to warn or assist during flight, allowing both pilots to sense the actions of the other. A passive side stick is incapable of providing any feedback or displaying the actions of the other pilot. It will only move when the pilot presses it. This feature contributes to the safety of flights by preventing pilot errors. Another significant safety feature of the MC-21 is its comprehensive flight parameter monitoring system. The aircraft monitors more than 10 critical flight parameters, such as engine failures, G-forces, angle of attack, Mach number, speed, crosswind stabilization, oscillation prevention, and automatic compensation for engine losses. This is far more detailed than the Boeing 737 MAX, which monitors approximately four parameters, and the Airbus A320, which monitors seven to eight. This multi-factor protection is intended to mitigate the risk of human error and avert dangerous circumstances, thereby resolving some of the factors that contributed to the 737 MAX accidents. The MC-21 is also equipped with modern avionics that are modular in design, intelligent power supply systems that can reconfigure themselves in the event of a malfunction, and 100% self-diagnostics. These systems enhance the overall operational safety of the aircraft by reducing maintenance downtime and increasing its reliability. This level of automation and diagnostic capability far exceeds the A320's systems, which, even with their technological advances, do not provide the same level of self-reconfiguration and diagnostic independence, and surpasses the traditional systems found in the 737 MAX, which rely on a simpler, old-school design. The MC-21 self-diagnostic system is distinct. It is fully incorporated with the aircraft's modern, modular avionics and intelligent power supply architecture, allowing for real-time, comprehensive monitoring and assessment of all onboard systems. If a failure is detected, this system can immediately reconfigure or take corrective action by independently detecting, analyzing, and reporting faults in the aircraft's electrical, navigation, and control subsystems. The self-diagnostic capability is engineered to provide complete coverage which involves the continuous assessment of the health of each component. This mitigates maintenance downtime and improves operational safety by guaranteeing that potential issues are identified and resolved before their ability to affect flight performance. The MC-21's diagnostic tests are highly automated and centralized, in contrast to those of many traditional airliners, which may necessitate manual intervention or be more compartmentalized. This is achieved by using open architecture avionics, which facilitates seamless communication between subsystems. This method differentiates it from competitors in the single aisle aircraft segment by enabling quicker troubleshooting, more efficient maintenance scheduling, and higher overall reliability. Compared to the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320, which typically operate at a cabin altitude of approximately 8,000 feet, the MC-21 maintains a cabin pressure equivalent to 6,000 feet. The denser air inside the MC-21, as a result of the lower compartment altitude, provides passengers with an increased amount of oxygen. Consequently, travelers report reduced fatigue, migraines, and symptoms of altitude sickness, particularly during extended flights. In addition, the enhanced cabin environment can reduce the risk of deep vein thrombosis by promoting improved blood circulation and reducing ear irritation during ascent and descent. In general, this feature guarantees a more comfortable and healthier experience for the personnel and passengers in comparison to its main competitors. 
Furthermore, the MC-21 employs composite materials in its wings, which enhance structural integrity and reduce weight, thereby enhancing both fuel efficiency and safety. This improves fuel efficiency and contributes to increased safety margins. Although the A320neo and the 737 MAX both use composite materials in non-primary structures, neither aircraft is equipped with a fully composite wing, as the MC-21 is. The structural integrity of the MC-21 is considerably enhanced in numerous ways by the use of composite materials, particularly in its wings. The wings are both lighter and stronger due to the significantly higher strength-to-weight ratio of carbon fiber composites compared to traditional aluminum. This enables the MC-21 to have a wing design that is both thinner and high aspect ratio, which improves aerodynamics and increases the aircraft's fuel efficiency and range. The advanced manufacturing process, which employs out-of-autoclave resin infusion, produces robust and durable components that maintain structural performance while reducing susceptibility to corrosion and fatigue compared to metal structures. In general, these advancements lead to a wing that is more durable, resistant to tension, and promotes enhanced operational safety for the aircraft. Nevertheless, it is important to acknowledge that the MC-21 is a relatively new aircraft and doesn't have the extensive operational safety record of its Western competitors, who have decades of commercial service data. As it accumulates additional flight hours and expands into commercial use, its genuine safety performance will become more apparent. In addition, the MC-21 encounters obstacles in overcoming market skepticism and obtaining international certifications, which may influence the perception of its safety benefits and its adoption. To conclude, the MC-21 is theoretically one of the safest airliners in its class due to the integration of sophisticated safety technologies, including the active side stick and extensive flight parameter monitoring. Additionally, it provides enhanced passenger convenience by means of improved cabin pressurization. Although these attributes situate the MS-21 favorably in comparison to the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320 from a design standpoint, its long-term safety reputation will ultimately be contingent upon international acceptability and operational experience. Now, do you think MC-21 is really the most secure aircraft in its category? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Also, we invite you to join our membership and support us.